Got one. Big one. Let's go. No. No way. Here we go, guys. Look at this big old girl. This night fishing is fun. What's going on guys? Bassin out. Mava here coming at you with a new video. We got the truck all loaded down. We got the rod set up in here and just excuse all the trash all over my car. But we are going to do some shore fishing today from the bank. We are also probably going to do some night fishing. But here we go y'all. Let's see what this one has in store. So to start, I've been really trying to get a top water bite going. So I start out with my Lubina Lures Rico top water popper and start popping that around then I quickly see a bass and I pick up my small rod with my micro Ned on it it's a little ultralight rod I just bring it along for fun sometimes and for little fish if the bass aren't cooperating so I pick that up real quick and chuck it down at this bass thinking that he should eat it because there's a lot of small bait and fry running around the shorelines and this little Ned looks perfectly like one of those small fry. There's a little guy finally. Oh, that's actually a nice one. Oh, there we go, guys. First one of the night. Look at that tank. Nice old girl. Probably about three, three and a half. Probably about three, actually. Decent one, though. Off the little micro Ned. So him back quick. There he goes. So after catching that fish on the small net, I continue fishing that around a little bit more switching around docks and swapping between that and the top water popper here and there but unfortunately no more prevail So as you guys saw, we started to get a little bit of thunderstorm coming in and we heard that thunder and it started to rain a little bit. So we were getting out of there and we're going to head back out as soon as a couple of my buddies get off of work. The rain should be stopped by then and we are going to see what we can do at night and see how many big bass we can catch at night. Also, real quick, if you guys like these cool Badium shirts that I've been wearing, check them out they support the channel they're a big supporter of us so help us out and support somebody who supports us and supports what we're doing here on the channel they make really really nice comfortable fishing shirts spf fishing shirts they're super super comfortable and i'm not just saying this because i started working with them now these shirts really are 10 times more comfortable than the under armor or the hook fishing shirts and i'm not just saying that because i have a ton of hook shirts and i love the hook brand but these 
shoes are way more comfortable. They're so fitting, they're nice and loose, and they're so, so breathable for when it's hot out, so they're really nice. And these ones have a built-in buff, so helps keep the sun off you a little bit more with that built-in buff and hood. But if you wanna check them out, use the link in my description to go to their website, and also use the discount code MOFFIT20 for 20% off of your first purchase on there. But here we go, let's get back into the video. Now after coming back at night, like I said, I'm really trying to get a top water bite, so I start out with another top water. This is the Gancraft Joy Crawler Top Water Crawler Type Bait, and I'm just throwing that out and doing a steady reel and retrieve back in. Uh, I figured that's not getting any bites. Now I switch up to the Guggen Baits Bandito Bug and start dragging that around on the bottom real slow doing a very very slow retrieve just dragging it and i have that yeah. texas rigged with a one quarter ounce woo tungsten tungsten flipping weight the tungsten provides a lot more sensitivity over lead lead absorbs the impact as it's bumping through stuff so that tungsten weight gives you constant good bottom contact to tell what's going on as you're dragging along down there as well as it also lets you feel the bite a lot better got one big one yeah. oh yeah that's a nice four and a half five probably that's a that's a quality one that's a freaking toad. There we go, guys. Look at this big old girl. Real nice one off the Guggen Bandito bug. Heck yeah. Ready, guys? Let's let this big girl go. Now I need a new bandito. That's the only thing, bad thing about these. They don't last long. Dude, at night I'll catch like three or four bass off one. Like that one literally just ripped on the first one. What size hook are you using? Uh, four aught. Four aught. Dude, I'm using threes, so it's not ripping up the hook. I think this one already had a hole in it from when me I rigged it before. Uh, and I think I shoved it back in there. I so I think that I think that was probably why that one got messed up. Cause usually, yeah, you're right. You can usually get two or three fish off them before they get too messed up. Yeah, yeah that's what we do. I, I feel like you can't use it anymore. Like, if it, if you, it off, you can you can downsize the hook maybe, but it's still got that goofy. It's so wide. Like the wider part at the back. Yeah, I'm. Not, I don't <sighs> now my night's made. I mean, my night's made. And it was on a stupid bandito bug. <laughs> it usually just goes. Yeah, I know how to hold these. It usually goes like three or four fish. I wish it was on this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it could have probably ate that too. Oh, yeah. He definitely could have crunched that. No problem. I just don't think they'll eat top water yet. It's a tad too early. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of the biggest ones I've ever caught out here. I caught back in there on this big blue. Now we're changing bait. spots in the next stock and I totally flop on this one and yeah. forget to turn my test camera back on. My camera wasn't even on for this. That's another good one. Quality Let's go. Oh wow, and the hook came right out. No, I, yeah, it, well, it wasn't. Oh, you in popped there. it? Yeah, it wasn't in there that time. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. There we go, guys. 
first cast popped up with this one. I didn't even have the chest camera turned back on yet. Get this nice girl. Probably another four. Two big girls tonight. So let her go real quick. Take her so you don't have to worry about it. So let her go. Ah, this night fishing is fun. That's how it was the, the other night we came out. Was it last night, I guess? Yeah. I think it was like, yeah, last night. First cast right here at this one. And it was like a four, four or five. It had a weird body to it. It was like all the top half was ginormous and the bottom half was like big, but it wasn't as big as the top half. Like it had like weird like, like a hella big head and shoulders and yeah, just like no back. Yeah, the were big and it had this like bone or something. It could have been like hurt before, but it was medius frick. I caught some weird looking bass in here. Like bass that look like they're on down swimming. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I'm down to four claws on this guy. He bit that on three. He ripped him up. Yeah, I had three on there when he bit it, and now he ripped the other one off on the side there. <laughs> Ooh, don't eat it. That's freaking. It's not terrible, it's crazy work. Oh, oh, no. no! I saw and that. Tap, 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 <laughs> tap. Wait a minute! Who are you? I saw the rod bend. I'm about to get I in there. I waited, I waited to. Mother trucker. <laughs> I waited. Oh no. <laughs> I would have cried if my rod just shot in. <laughs> <laughs> it came back for it. Oh my god. Doof. Yeah, that would've been crazy. I think I'm gonna move. It was a good one. No way. <laughs> Fatality. You alright, Hunter? <laughs> I can't get back up. Dude, that, was like a <laughs> that was a good one. Dude. That was that was about as big as the one that I had Dude, earlier. This bite right here and me going like this fucked me up. It went up with the my heart's racing right now. Damn. <laughs> I just want to stop fishing right now. <laughs> Dude, that was a nice was, one. Dude, I thought I was snagged on the cable. And oh. I'm like, I didn't even cast on the cable. And I start reeling in, and it's like, just feels like it's moving and not even biting. Oh. It didn't even bite once. So you didn't get a good hook set no. in him. Well, when I when I set the hook on it, I felt like that was good enough. Oh. Apparently fucking not. Damn. When I felt it swimming away and I felt like it was a fish, I gave it a hook, crazy hook set. That was a nice one. Dude, I'm shaking right now. <laughs> I'm shaking right now. Damn. I about killed myself trying to get down there and get him for you. Dude, that drop-off is huge. <laughs> it is. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be off. that bad. <laughs> I just hopped down there. I'm like, ah. Dude, I'm so focused on the fish, not worried about the drop-off. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so upset. Yeah. Cause if if I'd uh, if I'd be able to get it, I would have got it by now. Let's go. Hell yeah, that's another four pounder. <laughs> Dude, easy. Let's go. Of the bandito bug. Oh yeah. Hold that sucker up. Heck yeah, look at that chunk. <laughs> oh yeah. 
That's from dude. All right. Um. Think you can send me a picture? Yeah, I can snapshot this okay. and send it to you I got then. You, bro. It looks like a giant. Dude, that thing is huge. <laughs> it's a fatty. Right at the top of the mouth too. There she goes. Heck yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, as you guys saw, we did pretty good out there night fishing. Now, the footage is a little spotty here and there just because we were night fishing. My flashlight battery for my cameras does start to piddle out. It doesn't last as long as my other camera batteries and I can't hook it up to my charger while it's running. So, unfortunately, the camera footage is a little spotty here and there, but did the best I could with what we had to work with and thought I ended up making a pretty good video out of it. But night fishing out here at the lake is fire during the summer. You can catch a lot of really nice fish. And really all we were doing was just going around from dock to dock, flipping around the little Guggen Bandito bug and pulling it along the bottom real nice and slow. Some of the fish were hitting it on the fall right away and some of them were hitting it as you were dragging it. But that's really all it took for us to get them. And like I said, most of the time we'd pull up to the next dock over and we'd crack a fish. So night bite out there is fire, especially if you're a bank fisherman, you can get out there at the night. The nighttime is the time to be out there in the summer, especially if you wanna catch a big girl. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next one. Get entered into my giveaway. We're gonna be doing a giveaway as soon as we hit 2,500 subscribers. So get entered into that. We're gonna be doing a fishing trip with me. That's gonna be the giveaway prize. You can be entered by being subscribed to the channel. You gotta comment on this video. You can like this video and you can also share it on one of your social media pages for an extra entry as well. But stay tuned. We'll see y'all next Thursday, guys. Tight lines. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented. Being negative when you should be getting after it.